morning class. Today we are going to be working on our math multiplication and I just wanted to show you what that page looks like. So go ahead and get your packet out and this is the page that we are going to be working on. We are going to start off with me teaching you the lesson and then you are going to go through and complete the work on your own. If you have any questions, once I have uploaded this video, you can comment on the video and I will get back to you answering any questions that you might have. Okay, so let's get started. We have been working on multiplication and in order to uh, multiply, we've been also talking about skip counting. So we've skip counted with twos, we've skip counted with threes, fives, and tens. And today we are going to learn how to skip count by fours. I will also be giving you a video that you can watch skip counting by fours so that you can learn your skip counting. But we're going to look at that right now. And to skip count by fours, I want you to do it with me. Here we go. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 and 40. So you can go ahead and practice that a few times. And then we're gonna move over here and we're gonna talk about multiplication. Remember, when we skip count, that is part of multiplication. So our first number is four and we know that four times one equals four. When we are skip counting to two, go ahead and do that. Four times two equals eight. And we're gonna do each of these. So four times one is four, four times two is eight, four times three is 12, four times four, 16, four times five equals 20, four times six equals 24, four times seven is 28, and four times eight is 32, four times nine is 36, four times 10 equals 40. And if you remember last week, we talked about, we've already talked about ones. So anything times one equals itself. So four times one is four, three times one is three. 2,785 times one is 2,785. So we know that. We also talked about skip counting by twos. So when we skip count by twos, two, four, six, eight, four times two is eight. So we've talked about this number. And then last week we skip counted by threes. So instead of it saying four times three, it said three times four. And remember, four times three equals 12, and three times four also equals 12. So we've already talked about this number, okay? Now we're working on our fours. We've talked about four times five. You can count by fives, five, 10, 15, and 20. Four times five is 20. And we talked about counting by tens. So if we count by tens four times, 10, 20, 30, 40, four times 10 equals 40. So these are the ones that you're gonna have to learn, okay? So I want you to go through those and I would like for you to write those down so that you have them with you when you are working on your page. Okay, we're going to come over here. I'm going to change my marker. You know, I like different colored markers. We're going to look at our number line. And on our number line, when you are skip counting, I want to make sure I'm going to add this in green. So you see this, you start at zero. So if I give you a problem and I say, what is four times two, I am always going to start on the number line at zero. I'm gonna count four, one, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna count four again, one, two, three, four, 
and I land on eight. So remember, when you're looking at your number line, don't start on the number four. You always start on the number zero. So let's say I give you the problem four times four, and you're using your number line. Well, this is four times one. This is four times two. I'm gonna go four more. One, two, three, four. This is four times three. One, two, three, four. This is four times four. Sorry, that's a little messy. But four times four is 16. So you can count your numbers. Just again, make sure you're going back to zero. All right, these are everyone's favorite, I know. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, I am not going to be picky about which is your rows and which is your columns. I just want you to make sure that whatever your problem is on this, it's four times five. Either your rows need to be four and your columns five or your columns, your rows five and your columns four. Either way. So I'm gonna do my four here and my five here. That means I'm gonna go four across. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna be going in this direction. And how many, how many columns across am I going? Five. So I start here, this is my one, two, three, four, five. Now I can fill it in. After you fill it in, you can count them up so that you can see what four times five is. You can count by fives if you don't remember your skip counting by fours, but you do need to um, review that. So four times five is 20. Um, let's come over here and we are gonna talk about our subtraction. Um, this is just a review, it will be at the bottom of your page, but we're gonna review a little bit. 57 minus 16, seven take away six. Can we do it? Yes, we can. If I have seven, I can take six away and I will have one left. Five, take one away. If I have five and I subtract one, I will have four left. Our next problem is 31 minus nine. If I have one of something, can I take nine away? No, I can't. So what do I need to do? I need to go next door. I need to borrow. So my three becomes a two and my one becomes an 11. 11 minus nine. Remember, if you can't remember, you can always count up from nine, nine, 10, 11, so that's two. Two minus zero is two. Again, this is review, but it will be at the bottom of your page and I wanted to make sure that you had an example. Um, I look forward to our next lesson. I miss you guys. And if you have any questions, make sure that you comment below this link. All right, see you later.